Hello, my name is Carl Osborne. I'm representing Team Breathe, which stands for a bot for relaxation, education, and therapeutic health encounters. Today, we're going to present our digital solution uh, for the United Nations World Hackathon. And in Breathe, our mission statement is improving mental well being through accessible, personalized, and evidence based support. The problem that we're trying to solve is that uh, a lot of mental health issues aren't being addressed. Uh, this is due to a lack of availability, a social determinant of health. Uh, and so our solution is a digital health solution called Breathe. The home screen is that the uh, end user, the patient, uh, can enter a journal, as I just demonstrated earlier. From here, uh, there's the emotional tracker. And again, uh, the system will look to any trends, changes in mood, and then advise accordingly. One of the other things is that we do integrate with subject matter experts. So perhaps the patient has identified therapists, their primary care physician, family members to offer some sort of support. And lastly, uh, the chat GPT chat box. We felt like so. No surprise here, but the size of the market, uh, $1.24 billion uh, will be spent on any sort of mental health software. 13.5% is the expected growth of this market between uh, starting from 2021 all the way to 2028. Uh, we're not the only ones to dabble into this uh, space, uh, Talkspace, Calm, Headspace, Wobot and MoveFit are all digital health solutions um, that are addressing mental health. However, where we find during our research, where we uh, stand out uh, versus our competitors, we're the only one that is dabbling into a chat GPT AI uh, sort of support. Uh, we're one of the few that is uh, providing evidence-based interventions. Uh, we do offer personalized support uh, so in the use case of conversation, uh, the algorithm or the machine is learning how to tailor certain responses based on what the patient is saying. Uh, again, we are one of the few that has a kind of a, a patient monitoring, mood tracking. Uh, we do offer referral to professional health based on the response of that patient. And we're pretty much the only one that does support uh, various uh, languages around the world. Our business model, we do have a, a management team that consists of financial ma management, product management, marketing, branding, and of course, IT. Our service is that we would offer this as a subscription service. There is a free uh, base platform that will offer the basics of the application, but the premium uh, will provide a little bit more in depth where education and again, reference to local uh, mental health uh, uh, workers to provide one-on-one -on -one physical sort of intervention. Our customers are pretty much anyone in this world that suffer from mental health or just need some time or counseling based on what they're going through. And again, our revenue is that we were looking at a, a subscription-based sort of business platform. Our path to integration is that we do have a prototype. Uh, we would take that prototype and conduct further research and development, collaborate with mental health professionals. This is the evidence base that we talked about. Uh, and then going through uh, six months from now, a full marketing and outreach. And we look to expand and, and grow uh, into the international markets. Our team is myself. Uh, I'm a clinical informaticist. We have Natesh Garaj, who is also uh, an IT uh, software developer, and Dr. Sherry Saltini as our uh, clinical advisor. And so with Breathe, uh, we believe that it's an innovative and a very accessible solution to a growing challenge in mental health. Uh, we, we believe by uh, applying chat GPT, AI, algorithms, and logic, that it can provide a, a true first response to any sort of crisis that is happening and then direct the patient uh, to next steps. So on behalf of our team, I thank you for your time.